Hello again. Let's talk about some of the common injection procedures of the elbow region. Elbow joint could be injected either from the posterior approach in the olecranon fossa. Here is your olecranon fossa and here is the target for the posterior approach or from the anterior approach into the radiocapitalis joint and here is your radiocapitalis joint. For the posterior approach, the elbow is flexed about 90 degrees and the arm is either placed on the abdomen if the patient is spine or placed on the patient's thigh or on the table if the patient is sitting. The transducer is placed in a transverse orientation just above the olecran on the olecran fossa and the needle is inserted from lateral to medial directed into the olecran recess from lateral to medial directed into the olecran recess here is the positioning i will not inject the needle from the medial side because of the concern for an injury to the ulnar nerve which is crossing by the medial head of uh, triceps tendon on the medial side of the elbow. For the anterior approach, the patient is either again sitting or supine. The elbow is extended and you could place a small pillow under the elbow. And the transducer is placed on the anterior and lateral aspect of the elbow as shown here so that you could see the capitalum and you could see the head of the radius and here is your radiocapitalum joint and the injection the you proceed from distal to proximal from distal to proximal i will avoid injecting from proximal to distal because of incidental injury to the radial nerve which is crossing right by the lateral epicondyle right at the proximal end where your transducer is sitting. For the aspiration and injection of the olecranon and bursa, patient could either be sitting or supine with the elbow flexed to 90 degrees. Do not use pressure while scanning the olecranon and bursa because most of the times a small amount of fluid which is present in the olecranon and bursa could disappear with the application of a small amount of pressure. Identify the area of synovial proliferation or the fluid collection and carefully direct your needle into the target area. Here is the position of your transducer and here is the position of the needle insertion. You could either insert your needle from proximal to distal or from distal to proximal. And another common target for injection on the elbow is the lateral epicondyle. The most common pathology in the lateral epicondyle is the common excess tendon, tendinopathy, particularly the component which is that of the extensor carpi radialis brevis and could be extensor digitorum also. This is how you place your transducer. The one of the transducer, one end of the transducer is placed on the lateral epicondyle. And the other is directed towards the radius, radial styloid uh, towards the attachment of the extensor carpi radius brevis. And then the needle is inserted right at the distal pole of your transducer and directed at the insertion of the common extensor tendon. I usually inject a part of the material at the distal attachment and an end part at the proximal attachment of the tendon. 